Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to do this simulation, how to get stress analysis, report making and much more in this video. So let's start. Before I start this video, I request all my subscribers, please tell me what you want to learn in engineering thing. I have another channel called Engineer Know where I basically make 3D animations of engineering stuff. You can check out the channel link in description. So if you have any kind of particular request to make this kind of animations, feel free to comment. And so first basically what I will do, I will create the part. If you are interested only in simulation, just skip to the other timestamp. Just check out the link in description. So let's first create our part. So I am selecting the top plane, click on sketch. I am currently in part mode, not in assembly mode. If you are a subscriber, you know what I mean. So press escape. Let's give them some width and height. Let's say it is 50. And this one is 100. Go to the feature, extrude 10 mm. Click OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. Zoom out. Draw a center line. Press escape, draw a circle here, draw a circle again, give them dimensions, 120, 25, 50, draw the simple line escape select this line by pressing ctrl select this line make it tangential now go to the mirror entities select the entity that you want to mirror select this line and this line mirror about this line make sure copies are checked on click ok go to the features click on extrude pause space select these faces Click OK. Select this face. Click on Sketch. First thing that I can do is uh, draw a circle here. Give it a diameter as per your requirement. In my case, 40 is fine. Click OK. Select this uh, circle. Click on Convert Entities. Go to the Features. Extrude. 10 mm is fine. Click OK. Now I will select this face. Click on Sketch. Now let's create some holes here. So its dimension is 5. Then. Then. Escape. Select this line. Mirror entities. Mirror about this line. Sorry. Delete. Select this. Mirror about this line. Click OK. Go to the mirror entities. Select these two. And it is mirror about this line. Click OK. Features. Extrude cut. Through all. Click OK. So we are going to learn different kind of thing. So let's see. As you can see, there is no simulation tab. So what I have to do is go to the SolidWorks add-in, click on simulation. Wait for some seconds. Simulation tab will appear here. As you can see, simulation tab is here. Now click on it. Click on here. Click on new study. So it is asking what kind of study or simulation you are going to do. In my case, I am going to do static simulation. Click OK. Now, what I will do. First, I need to apply materials or you know boundary conditions. So sometimes most of the people don't know what is a boundary condition. And it is very important thing if you are going to do thesis or research work. 
so basically boundary condition define in what environment or you know what are the conditions in which you are doing the experiment so these are called boundary conditions for example here boundary condition will be what is the environment temperature around this okay by default in SOLIDWORKS this experiment whatever the simulation that I will do it will be done in 21 degrees Celsius okay and other thing that I need to define is what is fixed what is the material of the body how much load is applied where the load is applied what is the shape of the load how much is the meshing etc let's see one by one so first thing that I have to define is is the material of the body so right click on part you can apply your favorite material here or click on apply edit material now you can see that a library pops up so it contains all the materials basically metal materials if you want you can create your custom material as per your requirement but I am using alloy steel simply select any material that you want to apply select the material you can see its properties table curves and many more things so I will choose in this click apply and close this you can notice that my part code checked and alloy steel is returned it means material is assigned successfully next is connections connections is basically used when I have more than one part but in my case I have single part so there is no need for connections next thing is fixtures so fixtures basically asking what is fixed in my body suppose I'm applying a load of 5 kN will it uh, what will happen if I apply a load of 5 kN basically this part will move out okay because there's nothing to hold it so I need something that you know make my part fixed so I will right click on fixture click on fix geometry now it is asking what do you want to fix so I'm going to these holes I'm selecting hey that these holes are fixed on its place click OK now next thing is load applying so I will click on force so watch carefully what is happening here if I try to select notice the entire face is getting selected but I don't want to select the entire face I just want that area like this circle will select it here so what I can do here that's the important question so let's see some people might think hey that I can you know extrude cut to make a cavity here so that I can select a particular area but that is a very bad approach so let's see what is the right approach go to your model select this face click on sketch I will draw a simple sketch here give it a dimension as per your requirement let's say 40 my sketch is black it means it is fully defined it is still less black than my future but yeah now go to the features click on curve click on split line select this face click ok now notice I didn't extrude anything but I can easily select this face so that is how you can make a custom shape where you want to apply a lot this can also be work in ANSYS Trust me, it will be a lifesaver for you. Now, what I will do, I will right click, click on force. So, I will select this face. So, if you remember correctly, previously, without this, I am selecting the whole face. So, that was the issue. Now, apply a load. Let's say 500 Newton. Click OK. Next thing it is going to ask is create mesh. So, so how does mesh affect? Higher the mesh, better will be the result. But higher the mesh, longer it will take to do the simulation. So choose as per your requirement. Since my part is very single part and doesn't have more complexity, so I'm going to just increase this mesh to fine. So fine will make it smaller. Now let's see. So this is how it looks like. To run the simulation, click on run the study it will take some time to do the simulation oh, in my case this was done now how can I know that my material is you know able to handle the load 
or is it good enough or not you can see the yield strength of my material is 6.240 times power 8 and the maximum stress that generate in this simulation is 1.26 times power 8 so yes my material can handle this load one more thing even if you apply a 1 newton load you will get some shape like this so if you are a beginner you will uh, get scared that hey it is bending too much so here's the thing in solidworks whatever simulation you do it shows 1000 times the actual one so let me show you what i mean for example if i right click click on displacement you can notice it is 2.967 10 raised to the power minus 1 so it means 0.2967 but does it look like 0.2 no so how can i make it correct all you have to do is right click click on edit definition you can see the automatic scale so it is 48 times the original value if i click on true scale click ok you can see this is how much bending it is solidworks do this kind of bending so that user can visualize where is the maximum deflection or where it is going to be bent that is the sole purpose of doing that kind of magnification you can also see the strain now I question is how can I create a report simply click on report as you can see it is showing what kind of things will include my report so what you have to do is go to the designer enter your name uh, Samrat let's say in company you can say CAD knowledge URL if you have any address if you have any and it is asking where you want to basically put your report so in my case I will put it on my desktop what do you want to call this uh, file name let's say uh, what this kind of simulation is static simulation static simulation click on apply click on publish now wait some time because it will going to do all the your documentation work notice my report is created and you can see the table of contents so if i go downwards you can see what is my mass volume density of the material and weight that's a quite interesting thing and you can see what kind of assumption i put taken units okay uh, properties of the material fixture name what I am fixing resultant load and much more so you can see all the results as per your requirement and here are the simulations fix it automatically you know add the fix in in your hair and it will show you the minimum and maximum stress so that's a quite a good thing now there are many other tools for example plot tools uh, let's say the section clipping suppose I want to see from inside how does it stress acting so this is where section clipping comes in so I want to see some section of my where what is the stress at this section so you can do it other pro tool is uh, probe suppose at a particular location you want to find out what is the stress so how can I do it uh, before I do the probe result, let's go to stress, right click and show. Click on here, probe. Let's say I want to see how much stress is in it here. So click on here. Notice my data is here and I can able to see what is the stress value here. 
in that way you can create multiple plots and you can see the data value if you click on the graph you can see the graph is created the graph is created as per the entry of these datas so choose wisely how you want to see the data for your graph accordingly and graph is very necessary in case you are thesis or you know research student now suppose somebody say hey i want to see it in an animation so right click click on animate currently you can see it's animating click on here to pause to stop you can increase the fps for better result for example 30 fps and you can see frame click on play it will take some time to create the frames after that it will uh, you can see the simulation so you can notice how my stress is generating here and you are able to visualize it you can save the animation save as avi file if you want first stop the animation click on save avi file uh, click on options let's give the file name I'm saying on desktop maybe a bit. you can see it is creating my avi file so avi file will only be created when it will do the full simulation okay for example 30 fps because of that it is showing me and we will be the my avi file it is on my desktop so this is the avi file you can see its name so and this is how its simulation is done now let's stop this and close this just to know that you can also apply the loads from here or right clicking here you can also apply it from here in the upcoming videos we will learn about heat simulation or you can say thermal simulation in solvers but i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubt or inquiries, feel free to ask and make sure that you check out my cool channels and other cool things that describe in link in description. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.